Hey, how's it going guys? Spy here with another Scrap Mechanic Mini City Build episode. Now this episode we got something a little different. As you guys can see behind me, this is a mansion. Now this isn't any type of mansion. This is actually the Duck Mafia's mansion. Now this is based around today's theme, which is crime. Now you guys probably seen last episode, which is the bank and car dealership episode where I showcased off my bank and my car dealership and in the bank there was a blown up hole in the wall. We're gonna go check that out. We're gonna come back to this mansion here in a bit to showcase it as well. It's not very miniature but it looks pretty nice. <laughs> we're gonna go over to the bank and we're gonna see what's up because like I said today's theme is crime. And as you guys seen in the last episode, there was a big hole in the wall here. And now the bank is down. It is locked down because it got robbed. It got robbed last episode actually, but this episode we're kind of uh, making the theme. I guess it is a uh, it is a flash to the past. So the place gets robbed and the, the tellers initiate the alarm. And then the cops and the SWAT come. And we got this nice SWAT van here that was sent to me by... King Awesome 19. So let's just say we are the SWAT and we had a notification that the bank was being robbed due to the alarm system going off. So we have our nice SWAT van here, the Spy Cakes SWAT team van here. <laughs> um, I, I was kind of confused with the lettering until I read the description, but I get it now. Spy Cake SWAT team. The siren is a little weird though because it uses the new dance um, tote bot sounds. So we're gonna initiate it. Kind of weird, but it's very unique. <laughs> okay, say we are the SWAT. We hear the alarm. We're gonna go up to the bank here. And we just park in front like this. And then our team just bursts out the back like that. Here we are. And then we go inside. We tactical breach it. Go inside, make sure there's no one in there. I don't know how this works. I don't know how SWAT teams work. And we go in. We disengage the alarm, obviously, because it's annoying. Same with the SWAT van. And then we go inside and we notice that the vault has been breached. The safe has been breached. And there's a giant hole in the wall here. And we see a little trail. A little clue leading us to where it has gone. We're going to go outside the hole here. And we will see that it leads us to the sewer system or a little a little manhole cave here manhole cave a little manhole here i don't know where this goes but we're gonna check out some more creations before we check out the uh mafia mansion as you guys can see there's some new things here and a new corner shop now a lot of you suggested this and this is the new coffee shop it is looking pretty nice. I like the theme around it. Very simplistic. We got a nice coffee mug up there. But if we go inside, the double doors open at the same time, which is kind of weird. But we're going to go in and it is like a little coffee lounge with some couches, some pillows. The nicest coffee shop there is in Cake City. <laughs> All right. But if we go behind the counter here, we will see that there is a button underneath the counter here. This is... This is usually engaged all the time, but I disengaged it to help with performance. But as you guys can see, the coffee mug up there spins. Very simplistic. I like it. We're going to head inside and we're going to fiddle with some more stuff. We're going to stop that up there. Now inside here, we got the big, nice neon coffee sign on the wall there. And then we got some windows. We got a sunroof there and we have the counter here. Now this is like some coffee grounds or something, some coffee beans. Well, it's actually, it's actually a plant, planting pot for planting plants or something. And up here we have the coffee maker, it does nothing, it's just for looks. And here we have the coffee grinder. It's where you grind the coffee you want. Grab whatever selection you want, we got like dark coffee, somewhat dark coffee, brown coffee, red coffee. Blood coffee, I don't know. Toilet paper coffee, I don't I don't know where I'm going with this, but we're gonna turn that off. <laughs> and that's pretty much it for the little coffee shop. A lot of you were saying you wanted it to be a Starbucks, but it, I don't want to get sued. It's just, it's, just, it's just a coffee shop, that's all it is. Pretty small coffee shop. We're gonna head back out, we're gonna close the doors. And there we go. 
pretty cool. Now, if you have any other suggestions for shops, please let me know. We have a coffee shop. We got a cake shop. We got a pie shop. We got a grocery store. And we also have another shop inside this really big skyscraper that was sent to me by Kenulino Artistico. I think I said the name right this time. I'm not quite sure. Hopefully I did. Now, uh, this, this place might be a little controversial on the last floor, but we will get to it. Um, I'm not sure how you guys are going to react to it, but we're going to go inside the bottom floor here. It's a little small. It is pretty small, actually. And in here, we have another cake shop. Another cake shop. This one, I guess, is a competitor, or it could be another franchise store to the cake cake city cake place over there i have no i have no clue what it's called <laughs> but here we go we got like another little cake place here very cool gonna turn that radio off because it's creepy pretty neat i like it all right so we're gonna check out more of this corner skyscraper and see what else there is now this might be a little controversial as well but i'm not sure we're gonna we're gonna show it just for just for laughs anyways i didn't make it someone submitted it so what we have here is we have a van with big letters of candy on it. Now, guys, don't take candy from vans that look like this because if you do, you might be in loads of trouble. Maybe you'll get some candy, but I don't know. Don't take my advice. Well, take my advice that you don't take the candy from the van. <laughs> To the back here now I modified this a little bit so that it could fit on this plot here the sidewalk was added added some more fence to the back here but if we go back here there will be a little staircase going up and back here we will have a little apartment building now this is like a little apartment I don't know whose apartment maybe it's my apartment um, but I really like it it's really small it's simplistic we got a nice little um, little futon bed here with a pillow we got a computer and a tv screen or is that just a computer i don't know it's pretty big though it looks pretty sweet um we got some flowers a little kitchen pretty small kitchen actually look at that <laughs> and back here we have like a little oh i jumped out and back here we have like a little balcony hopefully we don't jump out this time there we go we got like a little balcony here to take a little view out it's really small actually you close the door and there's your balcony <laughs> but anyways that's pretty much it for the little apartment now there's another room up here we're gonna press this button here i believe this button here there we go and this will take us up to the next floor now this is where it gets super controversial i don't know if it's suitable for all all my audiences but in here what we have is essentially a crime lab this is a drug lab now it is taped off because the police raided it yep i did a little modification here because uh we got a lot of police we got a lot of swat no one can get away with this stuff really in cake city but yeah pretty much it don't don't do that kind of stuff oh is that blood on the wall i think that's blood on the wall i don't know it's actually just a chemistry set <laughs> someone's doing a little science in there um apartment building we're gonna press this but button here we're gonna go up to the last floor and up here if i can get up we'll just we'll just remove some stuff here for ease of access there we go this is the rooftop pretty nice looking look at that very cool but yeah we got like an air conditioning unit here some vents and a satellite dish radio tower i'm not sure and also guys if you did not realize this duck right here this is one of my hidden blue ducks this duck here has been here since episode one not many people actually noticed him but i i was surprised when some people did now i didn't see many people mention it but there we go there's the duck for all people who did not know there is one in almost every episode i know i missed a few i actually deleted the ducks in some of the episodes because they weren't very noticeable but there you go guys if you didn't know about that there is hidden hidden ducks in my episodes if you guys want to look for them anyways what we have here is an ice cream van sent in by callum 5347 it fits really nicely on the sidewalk here i was gonna put it in front of the bank as like a um as like a 
hidden vehicle for the robbery. I'm not quite sure how that would have looked though because it would have just been on the side of the road. A little obvious. So we got a button in here. This actually spins the ice cream cone up top. Really nice. We're going to hop in here though. I linked the buttons to the seat. They weren't before. And if you press 1, it'll close up the little balcony there. And we can just drive this around wherever we want. It's a little slow, like my other vehicles. He modified my, uh, I believe it was my box truck to make it an ice cream truck. It looks pretty cool though. We're going to just go over here, right in front of the cake shop and steal the customers like this bam ice cream for everyone <laughs> all right that was a little aggressive i don't think anyone wants ice cream now there we go hop in here and there we go we can serve some ice cream but yeah that's pretty much it for the ice cream truck i'm gonna put it back where it was originally if you guys notice some of the vehicles in the city are actually missing it's because i had to delete a few of them because they were a little too big but if you guys want to download those vehicles yourself, go to the previous episode and download them. Now, I might add them back at the end of the series, but I'm not quite sure. Um, I think I might add a few more vehicles in these parking spots if I know that the game will run a little better with them. I'm still waiting for the new engine. We have not got much information about the new engine. It should be coming out soon, hopefully, at least the test. But we're going to head up to the next area, to the mansion, which is our next creation. And we're going to check it out. But before we do that, we're going to take a look right here. Now right here is actually a manhole. There's a manhole cover here that is open. And this is part of the crime theme. We're going to go down here. Now, I didn't have much space to actually build this. This is the best I could do. We can't really dig down, so this is all I could do. Now we got some gold coins here, or gold bars, or whatever they are, leading to the exit here. If we go down here, we will see that they broke through the grate here with, I don't know what, a blowtorch or something. But they're just going this way through there. I was going to have a tunnel from the bank to here, but the space underneath the bank was actually way too small. I couldn't actually crawl under there, which kind of which kind of sucks. But this is the best I could do. And this, this, this just leads to the Duck Mafia's Mansion. Now we're going to take a look at this now. This I think is going to be the highlight of the video as it took me the longest to build. Now I don't know if it's the final product. If you guys want to try at building or customizing or modifying the duck mansion. You are free to do so and you're free to send me it. If you can make it look better do so. All you have to do is cut it and then upload it to the workshop and I will hopefully Hopefully check it out. If it's better than mine, I will most likely use it. But anyways, we got some nice fences here. I haven't completed the fence all around yet. I might extend it out a little more. We got like a construction thing here in the way. And I'm going to leave it like this because it works pretty good. It's like a cover up, I guess. But we have nice little duck statues on top of those posts there. And we got a fountain, some some yard lights thanks to the new path light block which looks pretty nice actually it's a little useless though in some ways but there we go we got, we got a little fountain we got a little driveway and back here we actually have a little pool pretty cool pretty small it fits very well it's frozen over i don't know why because there's no water in the game <laughs> other than the mjm and derf mod but that wouldn't really work in this case but what we have here is we have an old car sent in by Canolino Autistico as well. He sent that in with the corner skyscraper there. And it looks pretty awesome. And we're going to take this for a quick test drive. It uses the suspension glitch for turning, which is pretty cool. It works very well, but if you turn too sharp, it will flip. We're going to take this for a quick drive. But if you do something really quick like this... Oh, that didn't work, did it? <laughs> I did not mean to do that. If you if you can manage to do it correctly, you can you can turn it almost instantly. There we go. <laughs> That's what I was trying to do all this time. So yeah, nice little old car here. This is uh, this is part of the Duck Mafia. Um, they they robbed the bank here. I'm just guessing. We're gonna park our car in the parking spot here, like this. That was actually a pretty good parking job. <laughs> Not really. But there we go. 
All right, so we're gonna take a look on the inside. I really like this old look to the mansion here. Very simple, very small. It could have been really big, but I didn't want it to be. I wanted it to fit the theme and it, it really does. Compared to those other houses, it's a little bit bigger, I guess. Those ones are a little more compact on the inside. But we're going to head inside. Uh, I didn't have much space to really build or really add much depth to the color, um, as you will see upstairs. But we're going we're gonna to take a quick look now. We got a lot of plants because, you know, Mafia members like plants. We got some flowers, toilet paper. And in here we have the kitchen. So we got a nice little table. We got a fridge with no ducks in the fridge because that would be um, cannibalism. Um, we got a stove. Does nothing. We have a sink. Paper towel. And our countertop. Now there's a secret in this room, but we will get to it in a second because um, it also fits the robbery theme as well. So in here we have the nice big dining room. We have a table over there, but that one's a little smaller. But this one is like a big long table with the Mafia members sitting around it. Talking. Maybe contemplating their next move. I don't know. But uh, we will maybe know in the future. Probably not. But there we go. We got a chandelier. <laughs> and we're going to head upstairs now. Upstairs we have two rooms. We have the really bland bedroom. Now like I said, I couldn't go into depth with the color. I was going to add a carpet. But it would the, the roof downstairs would be the same color as the floor. Which I didn't really want. So we have a nice big TV here. A flat screen. A nice little lazy boy. There we go. And we have a wardrobe. Pretty simple. Pretty simple. Okay, we're going to go in this next room. This is the entertainment room. The lounge. So over here, we have a little pool table. Pool cues. And there's the pool, pool green. I don't know what it's called. Pool carpet. I have no clue. But there we go. And we have a little desk with a computer on it. And a vintage TV with an antenna. And a couch with more Duck Mafia members sitting on the couch there. <laughs> Just relaxing. Watching TV as as um, colleagues would do. There you go. And that's pretty much it for the mansion. Except the secret. Now like I was saying guys. If you can improve this mansion. Even if it's a complete overhaul. Please do so. Just make sure that you cut it. And upload it to the workshop. As I can paste it in if I do like it. Now we're going to head back down, and as you guys can see here, there is a big empty spot here. But you, I guess you can kind of see that there is an obvious secret entrance there. Not really obvious, but around the mansion is three hidden buttons. We press all of them, and it will open the entrance. Now it doesn't matter which order they are in, but this is where you find them. Alright, we're going to head upstairs now. This one is a little tough to find. It is behind the pool table. There we go. And the entrance should be open now. We're going to head back down. And back here. You guys will see that the secret entrance has opened. And if we go down here, there is a secret stash of gold. And a, a, a sack of money. Uh, just a pillow. <laughs> Someone sleeps in here. Just like in the, just there's in the sewer, sewer entrance as well, there is a pillow. But that's pretty much it for the mansion. There's a few more things that I want to show you guys before um, the episode ends. So we're going to head out on the street. And if you guys noticed, on the street sides here, there are these new street lights. They look pretty nice. I couldn't really get a really nice design made up that looked pretty small. Um, they look good though, I think. There's one last thing I want to do before ending this episode, and it is actually taking a look at the city from the top. Now, if you guys remember from one of my previous episodes, I featured Ghost Cat's Flyer here. We're going to use that. So here's the city so far, guys. It looks pretty nice. It is just going to get larger and larger every episode. I'm going to try to add more buildings here and there just randomly. Um, not really fit the theme sometimes, but we'll, we'll do the best to add to it. We got some really nice areas. I was thinking about adding a highway, but I'm not really sure where because uh, some areas over here kind of uh, go a little higher than our set size. But look at this. This place is starting to get pretty big. It's not very, um, not very organized though, but whatever. It doesn't have to be. 
But anyways, guys, that's pretty much it for this episode. So thank you guys for watching and subscribing. And remember, stay sweet. Bye.